Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Well, today we are going to do something that is oh so much fun. Stay tuned. So, I'm sure everyone has heard of Pinterest fails, but today I am going to do something a little bit different on the channel. I am going to do a segment, and I may do this twice a month, or I might do it every Friday. I'm not sure, but it will always be on a Friday, and I am going to call it, Did She Nail It or Did She Fail It? And I am going to be taking projects that I see from stores that I would like to buy, but I'm not willing to pay that money for and seeing if I can recreate those using items exclusively from the Dollar Tree. No other store, the Dollar Tree. So that is what I am going to be doing today. And here are the two projects that are first in this brand new segment on my channel. So here is project number one, And here is a picture of project number two. Both of these are from Kirkland's. Both of these I would love to have in my home, but both of these I am not going to pay that price for them. So I am going to try to see if I can make it. And I am always going to try my best to nail it. But if I don't, if my project doesn't turn out the way that I thought, I'm still going to show it to you guys and let y'all be the judge. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So my first nail it or fail it project in this video is going to be that sweet little spoon rest. Now, I found this spoon rest at the Dollar Tree, so it cost me a dollar. And I think it's the perfect shape for this project. So what I am going to do is I am going to take some of my gold paint and I am using the Deco Art Dazzling Metallic and I'm going to just put some on and I'm just going to brush it on as far up as I want it and how far you go with it, completely up to you, but I think this is just going to be such a fun, easy little project. And what I'm going to do is, and I'm gonna come up just a little bit more, I think, not too far, and then I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm also going to do the back of this. So I'll come up right to where I've got it on the front and make sure that I have the back done because I'm pretty sure on that inspiration piece that you can buy at Kirkland's, it's probably done on the back as well. So I can see that I am going to need more than one coat on this. So I am going to let this dry and then I'll come right back. My first coat is dry and I am going to add my second coat of this beautiful, beautiful gold paint, making sure that I get on the back as well. And I think that I am going to want just one more coat on this. So we're going to let this dry and then I'll come back and I'm going to add one more coat. All right guys, so my gold is dry and because it has such a high gloss to it, my lighting is bouncing off of it, but I hope that you can see this okay because it's really very cute. And I think that two coats was all that it took. So remember on the inspiration piece where we had the little emblem and saying on the inside, well, I don't have that, but I do have what I think is a fairly cute alternative. I have these gold stickers that I got from Tuesday morning a while back and they look like gold leaf. 
and they are just so cute and I've used them on projects before, but I think that they work on this particular project. So I'm going to pull up these hearts and I am going to just turn this around towards me a little bit so that I can place these down and they go down so easily. So I'm going to place that down on the inside just like that. And by me doing this, this will no longer serve as a spoon rest for a hot spoon, but you can put little candies in here. You can set it out and put your push pins on your desk, whatever it is you want to use with it, but it is not a functional um, spoon rest anymore for the kitchen. And then I think what I'm going to do is just take this little leaf, put it right there in the middle. And now we have my version of that Kirkland's spoon rest. So I am going to put them side by side and you guys let me know, did I nail it or did I fail it? This is something that I think I am going to just mount to a board and actually place on my wall as decoration because it'll be very cute mounted. So that is project number one and y'all be the judge. Did I fail or did I nail it? Okay guys, so the way that I am going to achieve my jarred look on my second nailed it or failed it project is I am using these um, sugar shakers that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I bought three of these and that means that right now I have $3 invested in this project. Then I'll be using some of my paint and the paint that I'm using is this Americana Chalky Finish by Deco Art and I'm just going to lay some of it out here. I have already been painting the other two jars because I didn't want us to have to spend time doing three jars. So what I'm going to do is I am simply going to sponge on some paint and I'll sponge it all over because I really want to get into the cracks as much as I can. And these were the closest jars I could find at the Dollar Tree that had that look that was fairly close to the inspiration piece. So I am just putting down my first layer and we need to let this dry before we add layer number two. So I'll let that dry and then I'll be back. All right, guys, so our jar is dry enough for me to go ahead and apply coat number two. So this time I'm going to brush it on because I really want to make sure that I get in between those cracks. When I put my first coat on, I sponged it on because I wanted to get the paint on quickly. Now this time I'm going to be more deliberate and make sure that I have that paint in between the cracks. So I think I'm only going to need two coats on this as well because this paint that I'm using is a very good quality paint and it covers so well. So we have almost got this covered. I am just going to go over this last little bit And guys, we have got pretty good coverage on here. I think I might need some right here. I think I forgot this. So now that we have our second coat of coverage on, we're going to let that dry and then I will be back. All right guys, so my jar is completely done and I am happy with two coats of paint on this. So the next thing that I need to do 
is I need to wrap just a little bit of twine and tie me a bow because I notice on the inspiration piece they have a little twine bow on theirs as well. So I'm not going to make mine too big. And I'm going to pull some of this away. And then I'll trim away some of that. And I'll bring my other two jars back in because I have already painted those and they are ready to be mounted to our faux wooden board. All right guys, so now we're going to make the base. And what I'm using to make my base is, I don't have a piece of wood, so I thought I would improvise. And I have these little mailing inserts that I use and they're like a very lightweight chipboard and they measure eight and a half by 11. So I have basically just cut them in half. So I have strips that measure four and a quarter by 11. And I am just stacking those. So I took 10 pieces, cut them in half, added tape, and all I'm doing is just stacking to get that block of wood look. So I am just taking this, I'll stand it up, trying to get it nice and straight, and I will just keep doing this until I have all 20 pieces joined together. And so by stacking these like this, I am getting a really nice little block of wood effect here. And then we will turn this into something that I hope will look a little like wood. So now what I'm going to do to give myself a wood look is I am simply going to use some wood grain paper that I have mounted adhesive to the back. So I am going to peel this off and we will take our wood and I'm just going to place it down because I'm not going to wrap the edges. I actually want those to be raw. So I'm going to place this as close to the edge as I can get it. Just like that. Then I am going to trim off right here instead of flaring out. I'm just going to come straight down because I'll make this my bottom part of my board. So I actually have some tape on the back and let me go ahead and peel that up. I really didn't need to put tape there, but I did. So that's not going to be a biggie. So now I'm going to take this. I'm gonna actually do it this way so it won't be so doggone sticky. Take this, get it stuck down. So now I can stand it up and I'm just going to wrap it around and I'm going to make sure I've got it stuck there. And I'm just going to wrap it just like that. And now I can just come on the side, trim off that excess. And now I can wrap it one more time to close it. And I think that's pretty good for a block of wood. That's not really wood. So I'm just going to remove my excess here. And now we have our block. I'm just gonna go over this really quick. Make sure I've got everything nice and stuck. And there guys, we have our block of wood. I am not going to stain this. I'm not going to do anything to it because I think it looks like a plank of wood that we will be able to set our beautiful jars on. So I am going to bring that board in so that you can see what we have here. And I have my two handles. Now their handles are on the side coming up. I am going to place mine right here on the top. So what I want to do is just a test fit of where I want to place these. 
So I want to try to make sure that I have even spacing, but as we all know, nothing is perfect. So now that I have the spacing that I want, I am going to add some reptile glue to the bottom of this handle, and I'm going to leave everything in place until I get everything placed. And I'm going to put that down. We're going to let that dry. Then I'll go ahead and add glue to the bottom of this one. And these are going to stick very well to this paper, but this isn't a project that I would lift up and carry by the handles. I'll actually pick it up by the base. So now I have those two handles on there and I can actually start placing down my jars. So I am going to place my jars using reptile glue as well. So I am going to take my reptile glue and line the bottom of this jar on the lip part that will actually be raised. So I am going to place that down and I'm putting this one down first because then that'll help me fig to figure out the placement on the other two. Now I'll take my glue on this one and we're going to do the same thing. So I am going to take glue and go all the way around making sure that I get a good coating of this glue. Then I'll place this one down, try to get it nice and straight with the other one. And I can see that my reptile glue is doing the job for me. It's giving me a very quick stick. So I am going to place some glue on my final one take this and I'm going to place this one down, turn it around so that my little twine bow is in the front. Then I'm just going to press all of these down to make sure that we get a really good stick. So, so far to me, everything is looking pretty good. I am now going to use some Dollar Tree flowers and I'll bring those in. I have three bunches in different colors that I am going to use to make my bouquets for the pots. So I am simply going to trim away all of these flowers. I'm going to remove them from this bunch and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I have all of my flowers removed from their original stems. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take just a little bit of twine bunch these together in a bouquet and just tie them off so that they're not all floppy when I put them in the jar. So I am going to do this with all three bundles. So I'll take these, but before I tie them, I am just going to put them in to make sure I have fullness and I do. So I'll use my twine just to tie these off into a knot. And I'll do the same with this wine color, which I think is just so pretty. So let's tie these off. All right, guys, so I'm going to bring the jars back in and I am going to start just placing these inside. I am not going to glue these down because I might change them out with the seasons. So I am just going to place them in just like this. And I think my little $10 project looks great. So I am going to try to tilt it so that you guys can see. So because of the way that my camera is positioned overhead, it's very hard to show you guys what this actually looks like live. So here is a picture of this finished project. And here is the inspiration piece for this. Let's 
mine cost less than $10 to make. So hopefully I nailed it, but that's going to be up to you to decide. So leave me a comment below on both of my projects to let me know if you think they were a nailed or a failed. And I'm going to bring in the first project so that we can have them both up here together because they're absolutely adorable. We have this sweet little spoon rest and then we have this gorgeous piece of home decor that I wish I could show you guys how it actually looks live and sitting up. And because of the positioning of my camera being overhead, it's almost impossible for me to lay this down because of the weight and my bottles might actually tilt or become undone. But here's that picture. So you guys let me know, did she nail it or did she fail it on one or both of the projects? So guys, I hope that you have liked this fun treat and I am going to do this maybe every Friday or maybe every other Friday, I haven't decided, but I am going to incorporate a nailed it or failed it video where I will try to recreate something that I've seen. So I hope that you've liked this little change up. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye. Thank you.